Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and this is one of those nightmare scenarios that I hope never happens to anybody out there. Now what happened is a photographer had American Airlines have her check her camera gear, which was worth $13,000, and it never arrived at her final destination, and now all of her stuff is missing. So what I want to do is go through the facts of the story as she has posted on Petapixel, or Petapixel did a story using her tweets, and then give you some information on what I think you could do to make sure that this never happens to any of you out there. So turning around to here, let's go over the facts. We've got photographer, American Airlines lost my camera gear worth $13,000. The gist of the story is that she was, her flight was canceled, they connected her on another flight, and then when she got to the got to the ticketing agent or got to the gate they told her that she must check her camera gear now let me go to those tweets it says uh, but the gate agent would not let me board unless I checked my bag. It looks to be an airport international or airport security. Both are pretty big bags. They are camera bags because I traveled with the same bags many times. She says, I pled with her. She insisted. I argued. I explained that the bag contained all of my camera gear and we went back and forth a bit. Against all my better instincts, I finally handed over the bag. She said it would be... Uh, gate checked and swore it would be on the jet bridge when I landed. It never showed up on the jet bridge or baggage claim and after five days of going back and forth with American Air and baggage handlers at both airports, no one has found it. It took me years to buy this equipment and in a few hours they lost all of it. Uh, I take pictures for a living, and she says what she shoots. I don't work for a company. I work for myself. No one is going to hand me new equipment. Um, so the first question that I always ask when somebody has their gear stolen or it goes missing is, did you have insurance? Now, American Airlines, I do put some fault on them for losing the bag, but I'm going to put the full blame on the photographer for multiple reasons after I tell you this. Frankfurter does insure her equipment, but her insurance had lapsed and nothing was covered at the time of the loss. That's squarely on the photographer. She let her insurance lapse. And that's very difficult to do because insurance companies will either call you or send you multiple emails uh, until you finally do pay. Like, the way that it works is you have, hey, your thing's going to be renewed. Your insurance is coming up for a renewal. Here's a, here's a pay stub. Okay, you don't pay it there. Hey, your insurance is up for renewal. This is your second notice. Hey, this is your third notice. We're going to cancel your insurance if you don't or pay Or just us. set up auto renew. Or they're going to call you. There are, there are numerous ways that insurance companies will get in touch with you to let you know that you need to re-up and pay, especially if you're a traveling professional photographer and your livelihood revolves around your equipment. And if it goes missing, you can't do your job. If you have $13,000 worth of gear, you better be up to speed on your insurance for equipment as well as your liability in case something ever goes wrong. Now, here's how I would handle the situation because I've been in this situation and I also fly American Airlines all the time with different camera gear. Um, let's see, I have priority boarding on American Airlines because I pay $99 a year to have their credit card. That allows me to board in zone four instead of zone seven, eight, or nine. The reason I do that is I know I travel with a lot of camera gear, and this way, if I board early, I can have all the space up above me to get my bag cleared and checked above. That's not checked, but get it into the overhead compartment. I also have had situations where when I've boarded a plane, they said, all the bins are full, and I get on the plane. This was not American Airlines. This was a different airline when I was flying with an airport security, and I said, hey, hi, everybody. I'm a photographer. I've got this bag that I cannot check because it's camera gear. And the flight attendant, the, 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 the gate agent guy gave me a lot of crap when I said, I can't check it, it's camera gear. And he's like, oh well, yeah, he was a dick about it. But I went on the plane and I said, would anybody be willing to check their bag that isn't camera equipment to allow me to put my bag up? Everybody looked at me like a moron, but luckily there was still space in bins in the back, even though they announced that all the overhead bins were full. They actually weren't. So if in the worst case scenario, offer somebody 20 bucks to take their bag and check it so that you can put yours up above. These are things that you can do to make sure that your bag, your, your gear is safe and secure and flies with you. One of the other things I do is I've switched to using this bag from Think Tank. This is what they call the Airport Advantage Plus. 
It fits on a commuter airplane, the smallest of small airplanes. This fits in the overhead bin. I also put in the front my own camera bag, my shoulder bag, so I can have it when I'm out shooting. So if they tell me that they cannot fit my gear, another thing I have is an Urban Think Tank Urban Disguise 50 backpack which if worse comes to worse, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I can't check my bag, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that, but what I would sit there and do is empty out my backpack, I would put all the camera gear that's important that I could fit into there, this is if I wanted to take the flight, and then I would carry that on and put it under the seat. Will it be uncomfortable? Probably, but it's less uncomfortable than having all of your gear stolen or gone missing or go broken. Also, you could ask the flight attendant, hi, is there a closet you could put my bag in? Is there a place in first class? Is there anywhere that this could fit? You gotta talk, this is your livelihood. You gotta let them know that this is important equipment and you're not going to check it. The mistake she made is she went against her better instinct and checked her gear, which she should not have done. As a last resort, you could say, put me on the next flight and let me get on early. That's one of the things you could do, and I know it sucks, but if the alternative is your gear not getting to where it needs to go and you losing all your livelihood, then you should go ahead and do that. Know the type of plane that you're flying on. So when I know I'm flying a smaller plane, I'm gonna take a smaller bag that I know can fit. I also stopped using the airport security and international in exchange for using this bag, which I can get two full kits in there, the Nikon, D5 with the Hebrew Trinity plus two extra lenses and a Sony A9 plus Hebrew Trinity all fits into here. But at the end of the day, it comes down to you being smart and not checking your bag with all of your gear in it. There are ways around it, but I will also say do not let your insurance lapse. I'm gonna plug my gear vault now because in my gear vault you can purchase insurance and you will be notified if when you come up to the renewal. So this will never happen to you. If you haven't downloaded My Gear Vault, go to mygearvault.com. It's the best way to input, organize, and protect your gear. It's free for iOS and Android. You can keep track of your serial numbers. You can keep track of all of your receipts, all of the gear that you have, all of the kits that you take with you. You can even get insurance quotes. And even if you just want to insure equipment only, you can get equipment only covered through our partners at My Gear Vault. They can help you get coverage. Just tell them you need equipment only on the phone. Even if you're not a professional, you still can get coverage that's affordable. I thought it was important to plug my gear vault here because it is a way that you can protect yourself and your livelihood. Because what would have happened if her insurance hadn't lapsed is she would have had replacement value for all of her gear if that's what she was covered for. She would have gotten it all back, it, new or you know, replacement value. That's the point of insurance. Yes, there's blame on both sides. There's blame on American Airlines, but I put more blame on the photographer for blaming just American Airlines when she didn't have to check her bag against her own better instincts. She could have figured out another solution and she let her insurance lapse. I feel bad for her that, her stu that all of her stuff is missing and now she has to replace it but please don't let this happen to you. Make sure you heed these warnings and follow the advice. And that's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. What do you think? Leave me some comments down below. Give this some thumbs up. And that's it. Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com. See ya. My Gear Vault. Input, organize, protect. Download right now for free at mygearvault.com. Available on iOS and Android.